This is a Couch Troll Brewing production. For the next part of the War of the Spark Chronicles, Part 4, Counters. Now this is a really unique format. This is like the first time they've tried something like this. And... Gonna be honest, I'm not really much of a fan. We got... Pretty much at the beginning of every end step, you're gonna amass one. And... If you don't have anything to put a counter on, it's gonna give you an army. If you do have something to put a counter on, it's gonna put a counter on everything that you can put a counter on. So, your walkers will get loyalty counters. Your creatures will get 1-1 counters. I attack this format from how best can I build a ridiculously large army? And that brought me to the fish. So here is a quick deck tech on a deck I call Count Fishula. We're using ways to repeatedly have creatures entering the battlefield put counters on stuff. Like deep root elites or also creatures that put counter can put counters on themselves when they enter the battlefield with your explore package with mirror force branch walker and jade light rangers we also have a new addition from war of the spark mirror folk skydiver which is actually a pretty sweet addition it is a blue and a green for a one one when it enters the battlefield, you put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature you control. It also has 3 of blue and a green to proliferate. So it's a 2-mana two 2-2 two, two flyer, which is pretty good. And by the time it can attack, it's a 2-mana 3-3 three, three flyer because of the trigger from the counter emblem. Next, we'll move on to the card advantage and more engine-based cards of the deck. Starting with Benthic Biomancer. It is a 1 blue mana for a 1-1 one, one with Adapt 1. Whenever one or more counters is put onto Benthic Maya Biomancer, you loot, so you draw a card, then discard a card. This really helps smooth out your draws in the deck. And can be a really good asset as long as your opponent doesn't have a Narset on the board. Narset's on the board, the Aura and the Myomancer is not a May ability. So, you just end up discarding a card for each Benthic Biomancer on the battlefield if you can't kill Narset the turn they put it into play. The biggest engine of the deck, the one that really makes this deck a nightmare when you get the board stall, is Kumena, Tyrant, or Voraska. You can tap another untapped creature control to make Kumena unblockable this turn. Tap three untapped Merfolk you control to draw a card. Tap 5, untap Merfolk you control to put a 1-1 one, one counter on each Merfolk you control. The deck's built to go wide with a bunch of creatures, and then K Kumana just dump a bunch of counters on him. At least one counter on every Merfolk you control, so you can just sit there and let them grow and grow and grow to finish off the game. Moving on to the main Haymaker finisher of the deck, we got two of Herald of Secret Streams. I probably wouldn't run more than two of these. They can't put counters on themselves. But what they do do is completely make your entire board unblockable. And you just get to swing it for lethal. I've done 45 damage one game with this. When my opponent actually let me connect. It, it has the potential to just end the game on the spot. It is a must answer card. Moving on to instant... Instant sorceries and other spells. We got a 4 of Titanic Brawl, which is literally just a 1 green mana removal spell. Is really good if you're on the play, because you can wait for your zombie to get the extra plus 1 plus 1 counter, and then knock theirs off the board. It, it can really swing early. It's, always, it's an instant, so it's huge, and... Um, you're all, almost always going to have a creature with a 1-1 counter on it with this deck unless something went super horribly, horribly, terribly wrong. Rival Herald's Boon. Running a few of these as well. This probably could be other cards, but eh, 
the utility has came up a few times. Being able to put two one one counters out to help swing combats in your favor is great. The final card I wanted to feature from my deck today is Hadana's Climb. Sadly, my list is only running one. I only spent two wild cards to fill out this deck from what I had in my collection. Had I been building one dirt hardcore from scratch for something a little bit more longer term than just this event, I might have I would have definitely gone up more Hadana's climbs and more Kumena's. Hadana's climb is another one of those you gotta answer it because the turn it's coming down, it's flipping. <laughs> If your opponent has six mana on the board otherwise, it could just end the game in one spot. That's the deck. I'm going to show a couple highlighted games to demonstrate some of the situations. I'm not going to show all the games I played, but I will show a few highlighted games. Did end up finishing out two and three on the recorded games. It only took me like three and a half hours of gameplay to finish it out. It started hot, then went real cold for a bit, and it kind of settled in the middling range, uh, probably about a 55% win rate once it all settled out. But it'll get you there with a little bit of effort. So let's move, let's, let's uh, get to those gameplay videos. I settled on Merfolk <laughs> as my tribe. Probably the best one for getting counters on just randomly. Has a lot of good value creatures and upside. And I got a ton of merfolk running around that I wasn't using for anything else. So here we go. We got two breeding pools, a deep root of elite. Oh, this is gas. I get Biomancer on one and a Jade Bearer on two. Which will let me start filtering cards. Although I'll have to draw something horrible. To want to ship any of these away this just seems like gas to me play out the biomancer and pass opponent just leads on a plane and passes wayfinders worth checking um, so we're going to go ahead and play Breeding Pool Tapped. Play out the Jade Bearer. Put a counter on the Biomancer. And we're going to draw a card and discard a card. And attack for two. Opponent takes. Another counter on the Biomancer on the end step. I do draw a land. Ugh. How greedy am I? We're going to bin the branch walker. <laughs> the downside with the biomancer, it's not a may draw a card. It's a you will draw a card. Okay, we hit our fourth land, so we got something else to discard it in a turn. Um... We'll play out Kamana. We'll attack. Opponent takes. And we'll pass. Counters galore. Draw a card. We'll discard the forest. Jade Light Ranger next turn. Or Deep Root Elite and Miss Binder both will be pretty sweet. There's Vivian Reed. The wild wasn't meant. Does not concern me at all. We're really going to get our draw value now. Strike now. Strike hard. Opponent minus twos. Opponent. But Merfolk seem really, really well suited for this. You got a lot of explore creatures. Opponent is passing. On their end step, in response to the trigger, we will draw a card. Hopefully hit a land. 
Another Jade Light Ranger is not bad. Ooh, that'll let me double spell. So we'll go Deep Root Elite. Play out the Biomancer. Get a trigger from Deep Root Elite. Put a copy on the new Biomancer. And we're going to try our deck ourselves. <laughs> Draw... Discard? Next. Next. How aggressive am I? Now, we're, we're going to let this trigger pass. We're going to draw two more cards. Trigger, trigger, chicken dinner. They flash out the Lawn of War Elves. Uh, discard the three drop. We're keeping the land. Remember Harold's Boon, I guess? See what my opponent does here. Minus two is again. Wait, you think nature is kind? Exiles a face down card. Plays down Nissa. Yep. Opponent. In response, two, three, four, five. Counter up, baby. Draw a couple more cards. Um, discard the island. Discard. Uh, is Jade Bear worth it? I don't think so at this point. Titanic Brawl is pretty good because it can reset the land. Land for turn. Mistbinder. Counter on Mistbinder. Branch Walker. Counter on Branch Walker. Draw land. No attacks. Discards. Growth Chamber. Oh, that's Adana's Climb. Um, yeah, we'll discard... Titanic Brawl. <laughs> We're gonna get our value today. Opponent, what's a... Mysteries of life are endless. Gives that Vigilance and Reach. Opponent. Gets another land untapped. Makes a 3-3. Three, three. Wolf. And plays out a lot of War Elf. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. All right, so we're going to draw a couple cards. And discard a couple cards. We're looking for a very specific card. That is neither of those. And it's not that either. Although that's not bad. I can't not flip this at this point. Alright. That, that forest looked at me funny, so... We're just gonna get rid of it. And we're going to keep drawing cards. 
Um, do, 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 do. Oh, I need to keep a card in hand. That's hilarious. It just threw the land straight in the yard. One, two, three. So we're just going to activate the plus three this time. They float the mana. Untap. Yep. Their lands are indestructible and they get them all. That's fine. It still doesn't change what we're doing. We're going to draw the rest of our deck. We're going to get the river guide or whatever it is. We're going to attack for about 70 billion. And we're going to remind everybody that it's a good thing that... Ooh. That... The fish are not on Ravnica. Creates a wolf. This is your hunt now. Counters up everything. Have you ever lost a home? My stuff's still a lot bigger at the moment. Mo. Okay. Counters up the squad. Back. I mean, that's beautiful. Opponent's passing. So we're going to activate the tap three draw card. Submit. Close. One, two, three. Draw a card. Resolve. My turn. Nothing's flying, so I can kill them right here. I just activate this. Attack for literally a million. Alright. Shut the door. Let's shut the door. Um, Three mana. Attack you for 20 in the air. Not the way I wanted to kill them, but they're dead. So here we go again. Jump back into game five. We got tap lands. We're on the play. Even hitting one land with this is absolute gas. Especially on turn two. Deep root elite and pass. No attacks. While Growth Walker comes down. So we'll play down the harbor. We'll play the most expensive card we have. Trigger, trigger. I mean, I'm not passing that up. Uh, <laughs> no text. So we'll play out the Biomancer. Yep, they're going to gain a buttload of life. Ruin a Evolution Sage. So we'll go Biomancer. 
counter on Biomancer. And discard... Harold's Boon. Land for turn. Counter. I really like the cards in my hand, so I'm not going to. And we're just going to pass. Evolution Sage comes down. Land for turn. Buffs the team. And a lot of more elf. Buffs the team again. Okay. Deep Root Elite put a counter on the flyer. Counter and counter. Attack in the air for six. Discard the land. Fisher horrifying. Evolution Sage. Buffs the crew. Vivian Reed gets to shoot down my flyer. That's not nice. Not dead yet. You will be. You will be. Utopian speaker comes down. Put a counter on. Put a counter on. There's my payoff. No attacks. Let's hope they're not running fog. Proliferates. Incubation Druid. And pluses Vivian Reed. Another Evolution Sage hits their hand. Um, we're just gonna just be the troll. That's the way to end a round. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing. You can follow me on Twitter at GeekLukeG. This is Couch Troll Brewing.